Can you say inflation? Yeah, yeah, that's that's ten thousand right there. Whoa. In their infinite wisdom, the nation of Peru has applied a llama to its national crest, which is totally awesome. Anyway, you saw that in the thumbnail. Here you have a very important looking fella in the watermarks. They both are set up the same way, of course, in different colors. Um, a lot of times different colors denote the different denominations, so it just makes it easier to tell what from what, which is a really great idea that the United States needs to do. And you have uh, another security feature running through, kind of hidden in there. I want to say this is this is a pressed cotton. This isn't polymer, I don't think. No. Usually with polymer notes, well, that is kind of shiny. One side is usually really shiny with polymer notes, and the other side, eh, not so much. So, you know, you can tell. Anyway, you have uh, Caesar Vallejo. And you have Nicholas de Piola. Piola? Hmm, very fancy looking fella. Clearly important. This is the 10,000 intis bills. And you got the 50 intis bills. This is um, 87 and 88. So there must have been a crash then. Because, you know, if they're printing $10,000 bills and Chances are they're not really using the 50s anymore. Um, pretty sure they're still on their own currency right now, too. So I don't think anyone else had to bail them out, which is cool. I don't know for sure. I did look it up before this video, and um, I think they're still using their own currency. Anyway, um, there you have a helicopter going to some fellas. Look like they're doing some oil or something work like that. You have what looks... To all get out to be a peace pipe right there. <laughs> and a, uh, a a village scene, which I think is always awesome. Santiago de Chucho. And uh, kind of a Aztec Inca looking thing right there. I don't know which one they had. Maybe both. But um, these are very neat. They're very, um, I want to say professional looking. They're cool. You know what I'm saying? And I do like the uh, the colors. I think this might be some sort of a, a hidden security feature that I haven't been able to figure out yet. But um, yeah, I'm not a I'm not a, a counterfeiter, so I don't I don't know. <laughs> I just think it's neat when I can try to point them out. Anyway, those are a couple banknotes from uh, the late 1980s series of Peru. Um, thanks for watching. You have a wonderful day. If you have any wisdom or insight on money from Peru, again, the llama is awesome. Thanks for watching. You have a wonderful day. I'll see you on the flip side, and I am out.